Hey, welcome back. This is Captain Ron, and uh, I have Tyler here. He's my cameraman, and he's also going to uh, participate in a discussion about uh, the recent video I have on YouTube, uh, Rotor Blade Flap on Takeoff. Uh, we've got a lot of compliments, a lot of uh, comments, I should say, and suggestions. So uh, we thought we'd go ahead and make a follow-up series or a follow-up video on getting in a little more detail on the two stage areas where you can get into blade flap on takeoff. So we'll start with the first stage of blade flap. Is, uh, and, and by the way, the gyroplane is the only aircraft that needs to be pre-rotation on the rotors for takeoff, even a helicopter. Uh, you know, it's a driven rotor, so you don't need to pre so-called pre-rotate for takeoff. And everyone that I've trained and I've done check rides for many years, they, they always have a problem in the beginning uh, trying to achieve and control rotor blade management on your first takeoff. Even helicopter pilots have the same issues. So uh, it's, it's worth doing a lot of training so hopefully the CFIs out there will put a lot more emphasis on your first takeoff. Maybe, you know, do a first takeoff, fly the runway, land, turn around, taxi back. So we're going to start with the first stage of rotor blade flat. And when you pre-spin the blades, you have, to, you have to have the cyclic full forward and because if it were back and you were pre-spinning, uh, what will happen is if you have any airflow in your face, it's going to, as this blade comes around, the wind is going to hit this blade up, this, re this back blade is going to come down, it's going to immediately start flapping. So, everybody, all gyros have to have stick forward, flatten the rotor blades, and get them spun up. Now, once they're spun up, at the point where you can slowly move the cyclic back, I usually go one, two, three. Now you've got full angle. This, these rotor blades are at full angle of attack. And the wind is coming in your face, you add power, start going down the runway and increasing your airspeed, your ground speed, and your rotor speed. Now, if you have blade flap at this point, immediately throttle back, get rid of the power, stick forward. That'll flatten that disc out and they're no longer going to be influenced by the, the airspeed coming in underneath the disc. Okay, so once you achieve that, that point where the stick is back, pre-rotation, you're going down the runway. Now, if you leave the cyclic back, the blades continue to spin and create a lot of lift. And the first thing they're going to do is tilt the gyroplane back on its tail. It's still, still trying to lift. The lift is in this direction. So if you continue to add power with the stick fully in the aft position, full angle of attack on the disc, the aircraft's going to come off at a high nose-up attitude on the backside of the power curve and just settle right back down again. So at some point in the takeoff, you have to move the cyclic a bit forward. Okay? After the no it's actually good to keep a wheelie on the front wheel. Just keep that nose wheel up, bouncing the ground a little bit. That way you know where you control. It gives you feedback. Okay? So a little bit of forward, a little more power, a little bit of forward, a little more power. Now, if you accidentally or invertly push the cyclic too far forward, too much nose wheel pressure on the ground, you don't know where you're at, and you recognize the situation. This is the phase two rotor blade flap. It's okay. You just, once you recognize it, if you move the cyclic back very slowly, then you will take off normally. You'll still be going at a high rate of speed on the ground, but the worst thing you can do is a fast cyclic movement. Everything should be smooth and slow. Okay, now we'll go watch a real live video of an actual gyroplane crash a rotor blade flapping, in this case, 
from my experience, uh, they moved the cyclic too far forward, got too much ground speed, as you will notice in the video, uh, not enough rotor speed, and then they actually yanked the cyclic back and caused the crash. I want to warn you that this is a real, a real gyroplane crash on takeoff. Your discretion is advised.